Greetings lords and ladies, Kaiser here, and welcome to another episode of our Crimson Tactics Let's Play. Now then, um, in the first episode, we went through the prologue. We learned what exactly is going on in this game, in this uh, story, or at least how the story started. Um, and we ended up here uh, at the character creation, if you want to call it that. Um, the character we get is actually already chosen for us. We do simply get to choose a name. Um, I don't know, I guess I'll just pick Kaiser here we say next confirmation this information cannot be changed later are you certain yes yes i am date of birth you know what gotta let you guys in on a little secret this is actually my birthday so that is day 12 of manipur all right birthday here we go this information cannot be changed later yep yeah, fine with that we already read Regarding the Dukedom of Swazalta. Let's get in here. Greetings, Your Grace. I, Kaiser Frink, am here at your summon. I, the promising young knight I heard of. I have for you an errand of high urgency and value. Your words honor me, Your Grace. You need only command and I shall serve. Our home is plagued by chaos. Our people have fallen victim to disorder, and your comrades who attempt to protect them suffer brave but needless deaths. You shall join my order of the Marian Lords. They are entrusted with the responsibility to remedy this chaos, to weed out the root cause, the rebellion. Yes, of course. And how do we proceed, may I ask? I hear they stay holed up in hideways. Hideaways, sorry, like crafty weasels. Right said, young knight. But no need for such haste. Your commander shall relay your instructions. Let me make introductions. Sir Unwin. Meet Kaiser Frink, your newest knight. The white lion rumored of Mitch Fledlings. Kaiser, is it? I, uh, a pleasure to meet you, Sir Unwin. Slow as thou not, will you recruit? Is attaining knighthood so effortless these days? Forget not in whose presence you stand, Dunwin. I meant no disrespect, your grace. I shall be mindful next time. Aye, you will. Explain to him, to him the needful and also the ways of a knight. As your grace commands. The slow saunter off the map. <laughs> oh, sorry about that. Listen up, Ricky. A summit of the Dukes will hold soon. As Duke Arsenio's well being falls upon us, we must hunt down the traitorous brutes with vigilance before the summit takes place. Do you fathom the severity of the errand? Yes, Sir Edwin. I shall follow your lead and bring forth my best to get rid of Swazalta's foes. Excellent. Remember, they might not be as sneaky and deft as Soyokans from Children's Fables, but they're plenty cunning and crafty. Now, let us meet up with my captains. You will follow their orders in my absence. Understood. Anything to report? Yes, Sir Unwin. During our patrol last night, we came across a wounded knight who reported a rebel ambush on one of our caravans near Wildefay. Near Wildefay? Once again? Yes, Sir Unwin. We rode swiftly to the location and found the rebels' presence still, looting the caravan. The guards were, were all dead. We draw them away, of course, but not before losses on our side. Those bastards have been running people's li ruining people's lives for years now. I've lost count of how many of my friends and brothers lie dead or crippled, able enough to only collect alms for a living. Oh, was that two different people? My bad. Well, losing good men is always rough, but lose not your heart for it. It falls upon us as comrades to make sure that their deaths were not in vain. And what of matters involving Wildefay's aqueduct? 
A camp near... A camp has been set up outside Huldefey, and a scout was sent to Bryce's waterway to observe for a whole day. He'll return by daybreak tomorrow to report. Very well! We shall raid tomorrow after daybreak. Meet me at the city gates within the hour, and we shall ride together to the camp. Nod. Any questions, recruit? Yes, sir, Emma. Just one. Why are we raiding a town's water supply? We believe the rebels are holed up there, for all recent attacks have taken place near Wildefay. Sir, if I may, our men have grown weary with these attacks, with all the losses we face so far. Can you perhaps address a regiment to raise morale? I have not the time for it, but I understand your concern. You may tell them that strategies formed by Duke of Senio and I are moving as we speak. We simply wait for the right moment to strike, and when we do, we shall crush them. Not but blood and bones of the White Banner will remain. So be patient. It is but a matter of time. I like how we're like the last to nod, like always. <laughs> saunter, 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 saunter. Young knight, at the cost of a coin, be wary of thy plight. For a destiny foreshadows a dance of shadow and light. Huh? Here's still wretch, leeching off my knights with monkey tricks. If only I had time to throw you outside the city myself. Leave on your own when you still can. Be gone! I strongly advise you to keep away from this wretched woman. But you're your own man. Meet us at our camp near Wildefay. Pay him no mind, young knight. Plenty he knows not, nay. Come, let us see what fate awaits for you. She looks older than the, in the picture than <laughs> the actual model, I will say that much. Death. Wow, thanks. You lose everything as, as a result of your decisions. What do you change moving forward? Ooh. Um... You lose everything as a result of your decisions. What do you change when you for my morality, I guess, out of those? I can't see what it says. The... Oh, the hanged man. Fret not the thorns you tread as men are fated to take. You are on the verge of fulfilling your dream, and yet you are discontent. Why so? The results do not meet your expectations. Your goals and desires have changed. Fear of stagnation after fulfilling your dream. Well, is this is literally what everybody <laughs> goes through, isn't it? There's no such thing as actually reaching, like, the maximum potential of your dreams. You're always gonna want more afterwards. The results do not meet your expectations. I guess? Sure, let's go with that one. Chariot. The winds of change beckons good bearings. Okay. Your trade has been growing fast due to your recent decisions and extravagant efforts by your la but your laborers are discontent. What do you do? Work continues as planned. Laborers can be replaced. Raise the compensation given to the laborers. Look into the reason for their dissatisfaction. Uh, probably this, right? I mean, their dissatisfaction is probably going to be due to co uh, compensation, which means that we'll eventually give them compensation anyway, but yes. As a team leader, you should know that uh, you should always make sure what's bothering your team. All of your hara, or as a merchant, I guess, in this case, all of your harvest for this season has been ruined by a severe pest infestation. How will you sustain yourself? Sell off your farmlands and other tools, borrow money from merchant banks or moneylenders, become a devotee and seek aid from religious leaders. All of your harvest this season has been ruined by severe pest infestation. How will you sustain yourself? Uh, do you want to be in debt to merchants? Is the question, right? Nowadays, pretty much everybody has to be in debt to get a house, for instance. <laughs> Uh, sell off your farmlands and other tools. Well, then you literally have nothing and you're homeless. At least this way you c kinda keep a roof over your head and work harder for the next one so that you can pay them back. We'll do with that one. Oh, the devil. 
and freedom changed to farce when the demon demons came to play. What is your darkest indulgence? Hoarding riches, abusing your authority, or discrimination? What? <laughs> okay. Uh, what would our darkest indulgence as this character be right now? I guess we always uh, heard a story. We wanted to be a knight really quick. Probably not to hoard riches, but probably to abuse our authority ever so slightly. <laughs> A journey begins. Which patch shall you take to your destiny? Uh, I will say this has been different every single time I looked at it. So I have no idea what it actually does. I'll be completely honest with you. But it has always been different. One thing I will do real quick. Because I noticed when we were at... Um, not the SFX. Uh, sound effects in the game. Master Roll. Yeah, sound effects. I... Uh, is it sound effects? I'm not sure it's sound effects like the uh, sounds of the people in the background. Those were really, really loud. So let's just do Master Volume down as well. Ambience Volume, that's the one. We'll go down to like 60%. Okay, so you can go back. And SFX can... It's fine. Actually, let's go to 90 because sometimes some of the attacks can be read aloud. Are you sure you want to apply these changes? Yes! Okay! Uh, I believe that's Wildefay, right? Yeah, Wildefay was origi originally a small abandoned garrison of the Duke's army. Over time, traders, merchants, and other folk turned it into a trading post, which had grown into a small town. Cool! Let's be on our way. Unwin, the scout has returned. At last! You sure did take your time, soldier. Beg your pardon, sir, Owen. I had to make sure I wasn't spotted. Yes, yes. So, tell us. I believe Wildefay Aqueduct holds a rebel camp. Looks like peasants at first sight, but they're definitely not, sir. Yeah? Why? The supplies were hefty and they're guarded well, sir. One look at the guards is enough to tell you that they resemble no peasant. I see. Outstanding work, soldier. Thank you, sir, Edwin. Our strike will be swift and mighty. Save a couple for questions. We need not show mercy elsewise. Remember, less scum means better lives. Recruit, are my orders clear? Yes, Sir Unwin. Good. Stay close and you live. And be not a hero. Follow the orders in the heat of battle. Men, prepare to head out. And this is where we start <laughs> figuring out that maybe this guy is not as good as one might have thought. If anybody actually ever thought that. <laughs> Right, so we were chilling here, but he told us to go to the aqueduct. So, onwards we go. And this is our first actual battle of the story. Or rather, of our own story. The character story. Saunter, 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 saunter. <laughs> the knights! To the last man! Ha! So brave! Let not a single one escape! Conflict arises. Very well. Objective. Vanquish the enemy. Understood. Select your units. Oh? Can I still... Oh, oh. Yes, we already have selected units selected. How about, because I see we don't have a healer, do we? He's not a healer, is he? They're mages. Oh, he's a healer. Okay. 
Uh, melee, 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 melee. Archer, archer. Uh, mage, mage. No, that mage is actually not in the fight. Healer, uh, sure, sure. Looks good. Looks fine. Commence battle. Do I get to move them around a bit? I do. Okay. Uh... Maybe completely in the back. Mages over here. This guy goes in this direction. These guys go over here. And they have backup pretty much the entire time. Maybe like so. So that these two both go down here. Because there are enemies here. That's an archer, I believe. That's a healer. No, that's a mage. That's the healer. Okay, so all in all plan is definitely to first kill the healer if he comes too close otherwise quickly kill the front line before the healer can get to them commence battle especially if they're stupid enough to actually come and be that uh throw rock <laughs> can't do that uh, let's see, let's move you, like so, and might as well, like, you're not gonna be healing anybody just yet, so just throw a rock, bonk. <laughs> 15 damage, <laughs> okay. Uh, Unwin, what is your actual attack? Broadsword, okay. Uh, so you can go there, and broadsword attack, zink, like that. It's a frontal attack, unfortunately, so it's not going to do that much damage. Archer slowly coming towards us, but he's not yet in range for anything. Uh, you know what? We'll strike him from the side. Like I said, let's get them down before they even manage to get to us. We'll face that way. Okay, uh, this is a mage. Mana conversion. Magic spells. Searing Inferno. The unit slashes the target with furious flames, dealing fire magic damage. The unit ignites the enemy's inner flame, granting them focus. The unit repeatedly slashes the target using light rays, dealing holy magic damage. Can't do that one. Can't do that one. Can you actually move and attack? Because if you can, that would be wondrous. Yes, you can. Okay. And that's only gonna hit him. Perfect. Oh, he's down! Okay, good. Good, 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 good. Success. Honestly, get up there. You're an archer. The height difference will definitely come in handy to you. And turn facing that away. Mm, they've already moved. I'll move here, and we'll say defend. <clears throat> Sorry about that. Looking forward. Uh, I doubt you're going to be able to strike at her. Longbow attack. Oh, barely. Is there... No, we can't go any closer. She's not going to be able to ma uh, to get to us, though, so perhaps we just end our turn facing that away. Boon Beckett. Cometh. Okay, George Seymour. Um... I think they can actually, yeah, they can jump up here, up here, up here, and then get up here. So technically... Are two of you gonna be enough on this side is what I'm wondering, because they are moving multiple people down here. That's also a mage. That's a mage. So I'm thinking we need more people down here. We'll do a big move. Yeah, the healer's coming down here as well. What the heck? So only two remain up here, and both of them are archers. Oh, you're actually close enough for that? 
Okay. Um, you know what? To hell with that. Just immediately mend. Okay, maybe. Mm. If one attack is 55, I think we would have been fine. Uh, and move down here. Because if it's just the two archers, I think these four can manage just fine. Even without the... Opala. Accidentally cancel that. Face that direction. Are you just moving or are you... Okay, he's gonna attack... Oh, he's gonna attack the mage, I see. You can't get close enough to strike, right? Yeah, 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 yeah I thought so. Okay. Um, right. Move here and broadsword attack from the side. Eid. Well, then I'm gonna attack you from the side. Can't dodge both, right? I mean, you can, but how about you don't? <laughs> attack, longbow, kapoom! Okay, he's already down. Ooh! Wow. Uh, move forward. Like that. Can you actually move up here? Longbow attack on... Wait, are you unable... You're kidding me. Wait, does the... I can't attack her because of the... <laughs> um. I guess ground? That she's on? Fine, attack that one then. The healer's still pretty far away, so if we manage to get this one down... Oh, uh, what sort of action do you have? Sword attack. Okay, so we need to attack from the side like so- Oh! Cancelled it accidentally. Because he can't attack from the uh, diagonally, unfortunately. Uh, face her, sure. Our mage. If we do Searing Inferno, can you hit her? You can. What if I have you move, like, to there? Can you do the Slashing Rays on her? Yes! The plan is, after all, to get her down first. You can face that away, even though I guess these two are going to be shooting at you. Okay, I guess our guys are just better armored. Oh, attack from behind. Ow, that's an... Wow. That was an axe. Um... Oh, cr... Ah, oh, look at that. Smart. Okay. Well, I guess, wait, we have, we actually have no other choice than to attack. We can't hit her from there. That is such an annoying little <laughs> alcove for her. <laughs> Fine, I guess we have to attack from the front, but at least we're doing damage. Because we are unable to hit her, which is annoying. The healer, at least, is not going to be there in time. Winter's Oath. Okay, so he's basically stronger now. And that is it for him. Okay, he's already uh, down for the count. Good, 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 good. Okay. So, RNG in our favor this time. You can jump off, jump off from there. Yeah, thought so. They're gonna be hitting- Oh, God! Please, no. Please, no. Don't shoot him. Do not shoot him. Or if you are- He's not shooting him. What is thine reason? Uh, I mean, are you able to, you should be able to move to there, right? We'll just longbow attack this guy, see if we can finish him off. We can. So the two of us here. Wait, are you actually able to jump from here? I don't think you are. No, because it doesn't have, ah. Okay, come back here, and you can jump, jump, jump. Yeah, like that. Uh, for some reason, we're 
faster than him this time. Oh, we missed, did we? Okay. Now the healer. Do we heal the knight? Because the mage is going to be uh, hitting the knight. Uh, our bowman should be able to kill that. Hopefully. Hopefully that's not covering, covering her too much. Uh, after that, it's Unwin. He's gonna strike, or at least try to strike for her. I, th mm, I think they can't. I don't know. They can't get up to him with the knights, except if the mage gets close to attack the mage. Otherwise, the knight I feel is in more immediate danger. So let's do heal the knight. There we go. Good heal. And you can just stay there. Okay. Can you shoot her? You can. Please hit. Nice. She's down. Okay. Uh, do we actually want to move her? Possibly. Face that away. Okay. We move here. Action broadsword. Zoom. Good damage. Right, they have two mages. Ooh! You, you can miss that? I guess you can miss anything, can't you? Okay, uh, well, now we can actually position behind her and attack her from behind. Or we miss from behind. That can happen. <laughs> okay, mage. Mm hmm. I think you move away from here so that you, you're you not in range for these guys, but... Oh, that does mean you don't... Can you do Searing Inferno or anything from here? Oh, just barely. Slashing rays. Do it. Okay, she's almost down for a count, and we can actually hop down there with our two guys afterwards. So this is good. He, if he's smart, he's gonna... I was gonna say if he's smart, he's gonna attack him and finish him off. He did not. Okay, move to the side, sword attack, and wham! Not a lot of damage, but hey, it's... <laughs> it's gonna eventually count. Winter's Oath, okay. Now it's time for the warrior. Vitality down. Okay. Is she gonna... Yeah, she is. Okay. Mm. Is he down? Ah! Are we able to actually... Uh, um, I can't remember if we're allowed to heal. Because usually if somebody goes down like that, it doesn't just mean you have to win in three turns. It means you need to get there in three turns and get them up. Right, hello. Sword attack. You've been hitting me from down here for a while. I am annoyed. Uh, let's... I mean, it's from behind her, right? So... No. 70 damage. Good, good, good. Can the healer... I'm curious. Oh, so the cast goes through, but <laughs> but it doesn't do anything. Darn it. Okay. Uh, you know what? Just jump down there. Facing towards them. Uh, behind her. Attack. Okay, sh we didn't miss that time. 61 damage, the next attack should do it. Okay, so she is moving away to try and kite. 
I need the healer to get to here to heal us. For sure. To you I implore, O Levi, champion of heaven, bestow. I didn't click. Okay. Okay. That's gone. Uh, my turn. Sword attack. Ah! <laughs> okay. Should have been the finishing blow right then and there. Okay, we go first before our healer, so we can actually move back up closer so that the healer can actually heal us. Because I don't think the healer will have enough uh, mobility. Oh, nice! That the healer is going to have enough mobility to actually get close enough to us. Uh, come down here. Facing that direction. Yeah, um... Just gonna go there. Uh, sorry, not movement, but attack. Surely that's enough, right? From this close? Yeah! Uh, and move. Closer to the enemy. Okay, unwin. Oh, they actually... <laughs> hmm. They're too far. He can't defend. In that case, just go there. I don't think... Mm, are they able to actually... I don't think they're going to be able to move past him. I might be wrong. But we shall see. Move the healer forward. And... Mend. Very nice. Move forward. Rusty. <laughs> yeah, they can only go that like in that direction. Not up here. I mean, eventually we're gonna push you all the way to the corner of the map if need be. To get you. Okay, they're close enough now for Unwin to actually start striking at them. And we're bringing in reinforcements. Uh, <laughs> I'm not sure how to actually, like, do we even have the items is the thing, right? Because I'm pretty sure you can bring them back, I just can't recall how right now. Game should sell us eventually. Uh, right, well, with all that done, let's go! It's gonna take at least three shots from them to kill us, probably. Right, we do, we will need to deal with the healer as well. Let's go. Time to start hitting back. Please, for the love of God, do not miss. He did not miss. Holy! Okay, yeah, they're not very tanky. <laughs> Can you actually heal from here? Ah, barely. Barely out of reach. Okay, just move forward then. Eventually, you'll be able to heal somebody again. Move you forward. Like I said, we'll push you to the absolute edge of the map if need be. Does Unwin need to survive? <laughs> I forgot. Uh, move. Let's 
that's it for him as well. I like how these two remained. Ours disappeared. Interesting. Yeah, we're gonna start shooting at you from this side as well. And you know what? We already have three melees on that side. Let's move up here and come from this side. Yeah. All the way. Can you shoot from there? Yes, you- Oh, at the healer as well. Do it! Bonk. You gonna mend yourself? You're gonna throw a rock. Fair enough. <laughs> okay, to the side. Boom! Is that enough? Uh, okay, the other one was actually injured prior to the slash, wasn't he? Uh, over here. Oh, can heal. Good. Might as well, he has the mana for it. Okay, from the side, and strike. Nice, no miss, and that's enough. One more. And it's just a healer. <laughs> Poor guy. <laughs> I mean, I guess it's usually normal, right? It's either the tanks or the healers that survive. <laughs> okay, just walk up. Strike. Not enough yet. Oh, are we actually going to be able to do the final blow? Unless I do a headshot on him. Is it enough? It is. There we go. We won. Conflict resolved. The location of your leader. Now. Rotten hell, you bastard. I've had enough of you. Bum. Where's the redhead wench? Where are your leeches hold up? Tell me. Tell me! Yes, sire. We're hold up your arsehole. Amusing yourselves, are we? Very well. Uh. Ah! Sorry, was that too lifelike? <laughs> Hopefully not. Hopefully I don't suddenly have somebody knocking on the door. Attempt to stop Sir Unwin would do nothing. I mean, he is literally torturing a captive. Even if they are rebels, even if they are bad people. That's not what you do to captives. Come on. Attempt to stop him. Sir Unwin. Is this not... Halt, recruit. Come no closer for your own sake. What? Okay, so we can't stop him? Jeez! What was the point of us getting to choose that, then? Give me what I need. Or will you scream, too? I... I... Will the... Faye, the, the weapons come from the... Town. I... I swear, I know... Nothing else. Please. See? That wasn't hard. You have my thanks. You won't suffer. Th Thank you. Sir Unwin, may I remove the convict and secure him for travel? That's a no. Yes, you may. Remove the others too. We head to the town. Yes, sir. Uh, yeah, so he's definitely a bad guy. <laughs> definitely a bad guy. Right, well, that's gonna be it for this episode, everybody. Um, I guess if the battles are like this, about 30 minutes each, I think that's gonna be an episode uh, per battle. Uh, there should... I, I read that apparently there's about 15, 16 hours or so of uh, content if you only do the main battles. I'm sure that we'll end up doing some extra 
um, extra stuff on the side, just uh, random, um, uh, how should I say it, conflicts arising, um, possibly bandits, uh, bandits attacking us or stuff like that. I believe that's a thing in this game. Uh, but if that happens during our move, Sorry about that. Movement to the next location or anything like that. I'll probably do those off camera. Um, if something happens, I'll let you know. Uh, but for now, we'll mostly be following the main story. Uh, but yeah, hopefully you're enjoying this. I'm having lots of fun. Like it, it's really come not coming back, but like the memories of playing Final Fantasy Tactics Advanced just keep coming back to me as I'm playing this and it's amazing. The, the one thing that's of course different is that Final Fantasy would never be this absolutely brutal. Though <laughs> some are sometimes with at least some cutscenes but not quite to this uh, extent. At any rate guys um, I'm enjoying myself. Hopefully you are as well. I hope to see you on the next episode and until then as always Ad Gloriam.